Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you an amazing AI tool which can help your portraits go from something like this, a casual shot to something like this, where basically you can convert yourself into uh, any sort of a character. There are a lot of styles as you're going to see here. So this tool is called lightxeditor.com. The link will be given in the, the, in the description and you'll also get the image that I'm using here uh, in case you just want to try this out that will also be given in the description. So let's get started uh, The first thing when you go here will be that you'll have to just sign up for a free account So you can do that via Gmail or any other way. I already have uh, Through my Gmail account. So let me just log into that and the moment you do that they might show you uh, this uh, window which talks about their paid plans i will be talking about this also but the best part is that you do get a certain amount of credits that you can use every day so it replenishes every day and the number of credits that you get is five and the credits will be reflected right here okay once you see once you log in and see this window here right now you're seeing 480 that's because i'm a paid user so i'll also be talking about that but for you, if you're doing this for the first time, you will only see five here and that gets replenished every 24 hours. So let me quickly show you which is that particular tool which I've been most impressed with when it comes to this AI software and how to use it. So the one that really works well, even though I'm still experimenting with a lot of the other tools that they have, you can see they have a lot of tools here, but we are going to go under learn and then go to AI editor. And the one that I have been impressed with is AI Portrait. This is where you can turn, you know, yourself or any other shot into a lot of different styles. So let's just click on this and it's going to show you this. Just hit create AI Portrait now. It will show you this very important message. This is very important that it's the original photo that you use. It should be a good photo where your uh, facial features are first of all up close. So use a headshot and secondly, they should be really evident. So basically use a sharp shot uh, in which you can clearly, your face is clearly visible and all the features are clearly visible, okay? So that's a very important point. And that goes for pretty much all the AI tools these days out there. The better your original shot is, the better the resulting AI pictures are, okay? So uh, there's some other important points which I'll talk about later, but right now we can hit continue. And the moment you do that, the window will open up and you can select your shot, the one that I've given to you. And later on towards the end of this tutorial, I'll also be showing you a lot of different uh, portraits that I used, including my own shots, my own portraits and how it worked out. I'll also be showing you where it performs well and where it doesn't perform well. So watch this video till the end. But right now, let's do it with this image. So I'm just going to upload this. And again, it's going to show you that uh, thing here. So you can see like, even though I'm I'm not exactly on the paid plan because as I'll be showing you towards the end of the video, you do have the option of not going for Litex Pro, which is a monthly subscription, but only, uh, you know, adding credits, which you can use. So that is also like using the paid version, but the real pro version is when you subscribe for the monthly plan. So they have both the options. You can just top up the credits or you can go for this. So I haven't gone for the monthly subscription. So this is just a one-time purchase that I made to add around 500 uh, or uh, yeah, around 500 credits and uh, otherwise you just have five like I mentioned before. So we've got our AI portrait here and this is the main interface where we can select the styles from here. So let's see this. This is showing our the photo that we uploaded. We can replace it anytime with uh, any other image that we want. This prompt thing that you see here, if we want, we can modify this in any way by actually writing something here. This is only available to me right now since I added those credits. That means for the paid users. If you're using a free plan, you'll see that it'll show something like pro here. That means you cannot use it. And to be frank, it's not very important because I did generate a lot of these uh, AI portraits with, uh, you know, with the prompt also and it doesn't really do a good job. So the best bet is to just directly select the style as we're going to see. So you're not really missing out too much if you uh, don't, really have this feature okay so the main feature here is style and or the rather the main uh, setting here and first of all you're going to select the gender so in this case we have male otherwise we'll also be seeing soon for a female portrait and this is where you start to see all the different styles that they have so for example right now they have this Christmas style going on and next to each style you're going to see this option which says see all and this is just going to open up that particular category and you have more styles uh, related to that. So you can see they've also got character like superheroes, uh, like Pirates of the Caribbean, Joker, Gladiator, and all these things they've got here. So we'll try a couple of them. 
Uh, let me just just see probably one more that I really liked was a sculpture was very nice. It works really well. So you have you can turn your portraits into a wooden sculpture, a stone uh, sculpture, and all these things. Uh, then um, the classic ones were good, like James Bond and all these things. Uh, some royal ones which imitate like a king or an emperor. And you had some cartoon characters there. And the one that I liked was uh, right at the end, this professional one work can be helpful for a lot of people. If you're really looking to generate a profile picture of your profession, you can use this because it does a good job as you're gonna see. So we have a couple of things going on here. And first of all, let me just show you how it works because it's a one click process. So let's this time go for, uh, we'll go under warrior, okay, warrior category. And let's turn first of all, this portrait into a Viking. So we're gonna hit generate via style. At this point, it's gonna consume one credit. So on the free plan, you can do this once, uh, five times, sorry, because you're gonna get five credits and then wait for 24 hours before you can do it again. The top up plan is fairly liberal, okay? So, you know, I, uh, I'm gonna be showing you the pricing later, but this was pretty much in Indian rupees. This is almost, I'm paying one rupee per generation. So this is very, very cheap. So even if you wanna go for the paid, uh, and a version and just top up the credits you can, but you can see the results here are pretty good. Uh, since I have so many credits, I can definitely hit generate once again because I just don't like uh, this thing that is coming on his forehead. So let's just see if the next generation is better and I think this looks much better, but it's done something to the, the horns here. So let's just do it once more. You can see each time it's consuming, but I'm really impressed with how the overall tool works. Okay, especially for something uh, where they're giving you daily credits for free. It works flawlessly. The interface looks good. There's no waiting time, not a lot of it. And even on the free plan, these generations are as fast as you're seeing right now. However, just like with most of the other videos that I've shown of similar AI tools, for me, I still feel in order to really get close to his face, you really have to do the face swap again. So what I'm going to do is let me download this image and let me just open up a free face swapping tool. All right, so this is the free face swapping AI tool that I like to use, which I've shown in a couple of my videos before, remaker.ai uh, slash face swap free. I'll give the link also to this in the description. And the moment you open up the image, you'll just have to upload both the images in the upload original image section. You upload the one that is the main image, okay, on which you're trying to swap. So this will be the Viking one in this case and upload the target face. So we only want the face from here. So this is the original image. Uh, this also gives you 20 credits, okay, which uh, I think replenish on a weekly basis. But again, this gives you a lot of credits, so don't worry about uh, this. And then you can just hit swap and it's gonna consume one credit. But after this, the result that you get, I just feel that it looks uh, much better than the original. So let's just wait for this. All right, so you can see here that we've got this image. Now let's put all the three side by side. So as you can see, Leftmost is the original. In the middle is what we got straight after using Litex, okay? Uh, the style feature basically. And finally, we, on the rightmost, we have got after the face swap and you can see that image looks really well. So this is something that you will probably have to do again and again, even though I still feel that this tool does a pretty good job of maintaining the features from the original image, but definitely after the swap, it looks better. Okay, let's also try one more because what I do want to show you is that this is very style dependent, okay? Uh, so like I told you, one of the important points was that your original image that you use, okay, it should be good, it should be sharp, it should be a close-up shot, like a head shot where everything is uh, visible and sharp. But the second thing is in this tool, because I've been using it a lot, and what I've realized is that your original picture can be really good, but if the style that you choose, it doesn't work, then it just doesn't work. Okay, it's just like that some styles here, they just don't work well. That's been my uh, impression of being, you know, of having pretty much used all the styles that you're seeing here, okay? So sometimes it's just about luck that the style doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work for any sort of portrait. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you some examples uh, of that later on. Uh, but for instance here, the military one works really well. So let's select this and let's, just hit this and let's wait for the results, All right? So straight away, we've got this and you can see that looks pretty good. Now, this time I'm not gonna do the whole process again because I've already swapped this uh, face in the re in remake of face swap. And these are the results. So you can see again, original image in the middle is the light X one. And finally, after the face swap, you can see that that looks good. And overall the lighting, 
the composition, everything looks very real in the shot, which is not the case, especially with AI tools that allow you to do this for free. So that's why I've been very impressed with it. Now, let me show you some of the other portraits that I used and what were some of the downsides, what, what were the areas where it excelled. So let's have a look at that also. All right, so let's have a look at some of the female portraits that I tried and the result that you're going to be seeing, this is before the face swap, okay? So just keep that in mind that these are directly the results from Litex. They would definitely look even better if the face swap is done. So let's start with this. So this was the original image and this was probably my favorite one straight out of Litex and I think this was pretty good using the warrior uh, princess style. So you can see there, looks very nice. Then was this one, this also came out nice. You can see here, very close. This was okay, the result here, you can see. So one thing is there that it tries to maintain the expression. So pay attention to that. So if you want a particular type of expression in your shot, make sure that expression is there in the original image, okay? So even if your head is tilted, it tries to copy that as you are gonna see in the male portraits. There's one example like that. So. This is there. Then what I was trying here was that I wanted to see that if the original image is a full body portrait, then does it give out a full body portrait? Okay, I was not uh, hoping for that and I was right because that'll be very tough to do. Okay, so it doesn't really do that. So even if you put a full body portrait, it'll still give you like waist up or a, a headshot like this. But overall the result, it looked pretty good, very close to her face. And this is without the face swap, uh, remember. Then I had this image where I just wanted to see what it does with the spectacles. So the result was this, that it, yes, it does keep the spectacles. And overall, this looked pretty decent. You can see very close to her face. And I think after the swap in something like this, where the facial features are so evident, it will just uh, look really nice. This one didn't work very well. So I used it with this. And like I said, right, some of the styles just don't work. So after this, I actually tried a couple of other female portraits using this very style. And they all had this problem where the body looked much smaller than the head, okay? And it just kind of feels like a bad Photoshop job where someone has just put the face, one of those things, and we don't want that, okay? So yeah, like I said, it's very style dependent. Now let's look at some of the male portraits, uh, the other ones that I tried. All right, so here are some of the male portraits. And right now I'm showing you the ones which didn't really work very well. So you should know the downsides also. Like I said, some of the styles don't work. So one of the styles was this cop uniform style, which just wasn't working with most of the images. So you can see here, this was the original image and I got this. The result wasn't too bad, okay? And this actually, this was the only decent one, okay? And here you can see the point I was making that it tries to even keep the, uh, if your head is slightly tilted and the expression it tries to keep it the same, so just uh, be careful of that in your original picture. But then after this, like for example, this one, I use the same style and that just didn't look too much like him. Also, again, this is without the face swap, but then overall, if you just look at the physique and everything else, it just doesn't seem uh, too natural when it comes to the original image. Uh, something like this, it didn't work very well. Again, with the same style, as you can see here. It's not bad at all, but not too great, okay? Uh, this one, again, we are facing that problem with the head being too large. So that happens in some of the styles here. Otherwise, on the face front, I'm, uh, without the swap, I don't think this is too bad. But then the proportions uh, don't look too good. And then finally, I tried it with one of my portraits. And this was the warrior look. And this is after the face swap. And I think this did a pretty good job. All right, so this is a tool that I'm experimenting with a lot. I do intend to even use the other features. I did try other things like the headshot uh, tool that it has and um, some other things. And to be frank, nothing has worked as well as the style feature that I've just shown you. But before I end this video, let me just show you the pricing also in case you want to top up the credits. All right, so when it comes to the pricing, you can go to lightexeditor.com slash pricing, or you can just hit the pricing tab here, and it's pretty easy to understand. The starter one is free. That's what you will be on five daily credits. If you want to go for the monthly subscription, you get thousand cre uh, credits monthly. That means you can create thousand of those images. And if you see the monthly price is, uh, so I'm in India, so it's in rupees 500 per month. Again, not too expensive. To pay yearly becomes even cheaper, but this is the option I took where I just bought the credits and you can see this is pretty much less than a credit for or less than a rupee for each download, which again, I think is very, very cheap. 
So yeah, overall really, really been impressed with this tool and I'll keep on posting more videos as and when I keep going through these other AI tools, both for image as well as the video. So I'm someone who's doing a lot of experiments with these kind of tools, which can generate very real looking AI images and can help photographers do their job very, very easily. So if you wanna keep up with these experiments, do subscribe to the channel. And in case this video helped you out, do give it a like and I will see you next time.